Hey guys, welcome to my shop and the end of a very long day at work. Um, I just got in from the city and um, I want to do um, some glue up tonight on this episode, which is about a license plate guitar kit. Um, we've done a license plate guitar before. In fact, one of my guitars is going to be auctioned or raffled off, I'm not sure, at the Woody Guthrie Festival in Okima, Oklahoma this year. And it runs from July 10th through the 14th. So get in your car and go to Kemo, Oklahoma. But this is a three-piece kit. It's a little different from the other one because it's uh, it, the body of this thing is about the size of a license plate. So there's going to be some things that we need to do that are different. Great. All right, thank God for my Coleman lantern. You know, the I'm not sure what's going on here, but California just passed some legislation that the power companies can shut the, the electricity down if there's a threat of a wildfire, especially when it's windy and hot. Now, it doesn't seem to be windy. It certainly is hot today, but instead of maintaining the lines or something, they get loose after years and years, and they flop together and spark and set off fires and stuff. So the answer is shut the power down, shut the grid down. So I don't know, it's not windy out here today, it's hot but tonight, but it's, uh, I guess it's windy in Tehachapi or Weed Patch or some other cultural capital of the world found in California. Anyway, let's wait for the power to come out. I want to tell you a little bit about this lantern. You know, you've heard me talk about um, working the Anadarko gas fields in Oklahoma and Panhandle of Texas. I used to run winch trucks that would uh, we would tear drone rigs apart and move them and um, most people don't know it but the Anadarko Basin is out there where the Dust Bowl was and as a fix to that the Works Progress Administration, administration WPA um, built a lot of projects among them a lot of retention basin dams uh, out there in Oklahoma and Texas. So every time we would move a drilling rig to somewhere, it's out in the middle of nowhere, you need fresh water. So we would take a pump and uh, with a winch truck and take it down by a pond. Well, we figured out pretty quick that there's big bass and catfish in some of those ponds. So we all had ugly stick, remember ugly stick bass rods, graphite rods. We all had one in our rig up trucks and we would fish. I would fish a couple hundred days a year. Anyway, when, I, when the oil field shut down, I went to Vegas, got a, a, a job with a crane company pretty quick, but you don't go from fishing 200 days a year to no fishing at all. So I got settled in. I'm like, well, what, what should I, where can I fish? So I started asking around. Some old man told me, well, Lake Mead is full of striped bass, stripers. They get huge, and they run around in schools and stuff. So he told me, listen, when you go across the Hoover Dam, on the Arizona side, about half a mile down, there's a gravel road that switches back to the left, makes this quick turn back to the left, and it goes back to a place called Painted Canyon. There's a point in that canyon, he said, the stripers are always out there. So he told me, good fishing tip for you, we're getting way off track here, but whatever, the power's up. Take an egg sinker, a big egg sinker, put it on your line, tie on a a two-way swivel, tie on another piece of line and a hook and bait it with anchovies. Throw it out there, let your line be slack because stripers will not, once they feel tension, they drop it. So the idea is they grab the, the bait and because it's going through the egg sinker, you can watch your slack go out. So I had a heavy rod for catching catfish that I brought from Oklahoma. Went out, found this point, got there about 3.30 in the afternoon. It was hot. There's no trees. There's nothing. Just me, gravel, and hot. It was so hot, Satan was asking me if I wanted a drink of water. So anyway, I sat there for hours and hours. Nothing happened. Reeling in, changing anchovies. By the way, you want to use frozen anchovies. So I'm about ready to give up. I'm getting lax of days ago. I'm not paying attention. It's, it's getting dark. The sun's going way down. And all of a sudden, my line goes, boom, 
I wasn't paying attention, so I reel it in. Bait's gone. Bait up again. Throw it out there. Put some slack in. Almost immediately, boom, there goes the line. Boom, boom. Anyway, I catch three stripers about this big each. Well, by now it's almost dark. I get back to my truck. I'm not familiar with the area. So I throw the fish back in the water and um, find my truck. Next day, I'm at Big Five and I am buying a Coleman Lantern. Coleman Lantern. Anyway, I didn't go out there that day and sit out in the heat. I waited till and timed it where I got there and it was almost, uh, it was dusk. But I got my lantern. So I'm sitting there. I wasn't five minutes there. Boom, I'm getting hit after hit. Um, but the problem is the lantern is drawing in bugs. I need the lantern by me to see whether my line is slack or not, but there's bugs coming in. So I'm like thinking, okay, I'll just hang my, my uh, lantern on a stick or something away from me so the bugs go over there. I can fish. I'm going to be fine. But there's no sticks on this uh, point. I'm walking around, walking around. Finally, I find a sorry piece of driftwood. I go back to my pole and try to stick this, the, the stick in the ground. It's harder than concrete. Um, so I finally figure out I got to go by uh, the water where the ground is moist. So I put the stick in, pack rocks around it, and hang my lantern on it, right? So now I'm good. I'm, I'm sitting there. I can see my line, and I'm getting bites, a lot of bites, because they run in schools. And so um, all of a sudden I hear this sickening noise, and the stick is breaking. My brand new lantern is falling in the depths of Lake Mead. So here I am. It's way dark by now. I got a lighter or something. I'm trying to get things picked up and get back to my truck. Again, I have to throw all the fish back. And um, nightmare, brand new lantern right in Lake Mead. Yeah. But anyway, fast forward about three years. I'm, one night I'm back out at uh, Painted Canyon Point and I'm fishing. And uh, I make a couple casts, reeling back in. I hook something. And um, my line's moving, but nothing is fighting back. So I've hooked some inanimate object, and uh, I reel it in, and I get it close to the shore where I'm at, and you'll never guess what it was. You know what it was? Yeah, it was my lantern. This lantern. And it was still lit. Okay. I guess I'm probably not going to get a like from you for that one. Anyway, don't forget about the Woody Guthrie Festival in Okima, Oklahoma. And sooner or later, we're, we're going to get to this license plate guitar. See you next time.